Hi, I'm Jennifer Reese. I'm the author of the new book, Make the Bread, Buy the Butter. In a time and a country where you can go to the supermarket and buy pretty much anything you want to eat from the really obvious and ba basic, like um, eggs, to the less obvious, like frozen peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, what, does it, what is it worth your time and trouble to make at home? Bagels. Bagels are incredibly easy, surprisingly easy to make, and uh, homemade bagels are absolutely delicious. I'm going to start with the flour. This is about three cups of flour. After that, three tablespoons of sugar, a tablespoon of kosher salt, and a little over a tablespoon of instant yeast. And you can, you can mix them around a little bit. Here. Yeah, just very lightly. And then about a cup and a half of warm, not hot, water. After about a minute, though, you want to switch from the paddle attachment of your mixer to a dough hook attachment. And if you're using a bowl, you just switch from a spoon to kneading with your hands. Um, and then turn it on and let it knead for a couple more minutes. Uh, now your dough, after a couple of hours of rising, will be really soft and elastic. Look how smooth. Um, to make a bagel, you break off a round of dough. And you roll it around in your hands and you get it as smooth as you possibly can. And then there's many ways to do a bagel, to shape a bagel, but I just put my thumb through it and then try to shape it as best I can. Once you have all your bagels shaped and sitting out on the counter, you just cover them with a damp cloth for about 10 minutes while you start uh, boiling some water. And boiling is what gives uh, bagels their unique, tight, shrink-wrapped crust. Gently drop the bagel in holding it closed and then releasing it. A minute on one side. The float. So they're ready to come out when they're, they're glossy and shiny and slippery. And you just flip them out and put them on the counter. You can dip them in anything you want from caraway seeds to rock salt. Or some sesame seeds or some poppy seeds. I'm going to do a poppy seed bagel. When they're still a little bit warm, slice into them. And if you like, spread them with cream cheese. I use Philadelphia cream cheese, but you can make your own cream cheese using a recipe in my book, Make the Bread, Buy the Butter, available October 18th in bookstores. My name is Jennifer Reese. Thanks for watching.